In order to tell a smooth story, you might want to work with multiple scenes at the same time. So let us take an example of how to work with multiple scenes right here. So here I have a character as you can see. So what I'm simply going to do is I'm just going to duplicate the same scene out. So this is scene one as you can see. So I'm just going to go around and then create a copy of the scene right here. So just duplicate out the scene right here. So on the first scene, what I want to do is I want to add in a background. So I'm just going to go to file. I'm going to go to import right here. And I'm just going to import out a picture. So I'm just going to go to my Dropbox where I have my pictures stored in. So I'm just going to go around onto this scene, import it out right here. So I'm going to keep that as the background for this character right here. And then there's going to be scene two as well, where I have the same character. So I'm just going to go to import right here. And for this one, I'm going to go with the other scene that I have right here. So let me just bring that in. Let me just expand this out. So I'm just going to go and then I'm going to transform this out, scale this out just like this. And then in scene one, I'm going to scale this out as well. So I'm just going to scale this out over here. So what I can do is I can create another scene right here and then add in both of these scenes uh, as style scenes over there as well. So I'm just going to go to file. I mean, I'm going to go to scene and click on new scene right over here. So this is scene three. So I'm going to rename this to master scene. So I'm just going to go around and say master scene right over here. And then what I'm going to do is in the master scene that I have, I'm just going to open that out. I'm going to bring in scene one, just like this and scene two. So both of them are overlapping. Both of the scenes are here. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this scene off. And then let's say I'm going to keep these scenes at five seconds, just like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange the scene out. So I'm just going to go around and then go to scene, not scene, but I'm going to go to edit and split and delete this portion off. So each of the scene is five seconds long. So you got the first scene right here and then you got the second scene right here, just like this. So now what you can do is you can go on to the first scene and here I want to animate something out right here. So this is my character and I have my arrow keys working in. So I'm just going to hit the record button and make the character move on the right side. So let's see the, uh, yeah, the speed is there. All right. So I'm just going to go around and then over here, I'm just going to increase out the walk speed right here. So there's the stride length, step speed. So let's just go 100% right here. All right. So the character is walking just like that. So I'm just going to hit the record button right here. It's recording. And let's say the character goes out of the screen right here, just like this. It's a bit over five seconds right over here. No worries. And I'm just going to stop it out. So the character moves out of the scene right here. So now what I can do is I can go into the master scene right here, where now I have the character moving out. So I can just click and drag it out to get the remaining scene back right here. So just like that. I have the remaining scene right here. So the character actually just stops right here. So I just need to refresh it out to see what I have. So the character walks out. It walks out of the scene right here, just like this. So now I'm just going to stop it. And right over here, I'm going to uh, just cut it out. And over here, now I'm going to go to this scene. And in this scene, I want the character to walk from the left side. So I'm just going to go around and then change the position right here, not the position of the scene, but the position of the character right here. I want to work around with its transformation option first, and then I'm going to change the position onto the left side. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the record button and then make the character walk in just like that. So the character is walking in just like that onto this scene. So as the scene joins in, what happens is that it seems as if the character it, uh, went from other scene to this scene right here. So I'm just going to go around over here onto the master scene now. So now you got this character who is walking out just like that. He's walking out of the scene right here and then he will appear on the other scene now. So just like that. Now what happens He's walking out on, on this one and then he'll come up in the other scene. So let's just stop it out right here. Let's just refresh this out to see how that looks. 
All right, so let's play this out right here. So the character is walking just like that and he goes out of this scene and then he comes on the other scene just like this. So this is how you can actually work around with multiple scenes. So just like that, you got the character right here and it stands up right here. So let me just refresh and see how this looks very quickly. The character walks out and then over here he comes and stops. And that is how we can work around with multiple scenes to tell a story inside of Character Animator. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.